I will run through how to model a dock stair with our saved setting files. Let's open the save settings file. This stair is 4 foot 8 wide with a top landing of 5 2 from the face of the dock. We will use grating for our treads and dog like stringers at the top for the landing. As you can see, there is no math involved in modeling the stairs, just a couple of input points. Next, we will model the railings on each side of the stairs using our XT Stair Multiline Rail plugin. We will load the saved attribute settings file for these rails. We want a two line rail. The material is one and a quarter inch round tube. There will be a bottom loop on the guardrail. The post will sit on top of the stringers and the handrail will have a top loop. Our stair rail plugins only need an instance of our XT stair plugin to create a complete rail. We call this our one click rail system. Next, we change the rail settings to model another rail on the right side of the stair. Finally, we will add the grading panels on top of the stair using the XT grading plugin with some save settings files. The first panel will have a nosing and 2 foot 6.5 inch nominal width and input two points at the top nosing location for the stair. Then we use the pre-save settings for the grading that do not have a nosing. We set the position properties so we can model this panel from the other panel and change the nominal width to 2 foot 7 inch. We apply these settings and add the panel to the model. In a few minutes we have a complete dock stair for this project. You can download the dock stair attribute files from our Tecla Warehouse to use in your next project. See the link in the description below.